Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you um, an unboxing video. Um, I did just record a tutorial for you guys so be, stu be sure to stay tuned for that. Um, I keep saying that and then the videos don't go up because I'm not happy with them so I do apologize for that. If there are tutorials that you want to see and you're like hey you were supposed to do this look and I never set found it let me know in the comments below and I'll make that happen for you. But anyway, stay tuned. This video will go up like pinky, pinky promise, pinky promise. Okay, so on to the unboxing. So the unboxing I have for you today is actually one that's new to me. It is the Walmart Beauty Unboxing. I saw, um, who did I see do um, an unboxing? Emily Noel. Um, I saw her do an unboxing. I was like, yeah, that's pretty good. And these are $5.00. Um, and they do them quarterly, so they do one for every season. I think that's quarterly, right? Is this the same thing? Crap, I don't know. Um, but this is the winter box, so I saw her do the fall unboxing. I was like, eh, what the heck, I'll give it a shot. Um, I want you guys to have something to kind of compare to. So here it is, and when you open it up, this is what it looks like right here. Always with the tissue paper. This looks so nice when they do that. And here's a little sneaky peek. I think I made this fall, so and that is what the box looks like. Okay, I can't do that very well. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing in here I see is the Burt's Bees Facial Cleansing Towelettes, and there are 10 pre-moistened towelettes. Um, they don't tell you the retail value of any of this stuff. Um, in the box anywhere so um, I don't know but I paid five dollars for the whole box um, I imagine these probably cost like a dollar maybe two I don't know ten makeup remover towelettes from Burt's Bees so I kind of wanted to try these so it's good that I got these um, the next thing that I see is a it looks like a full-size product this is the cover girl where's the color Oh, here we go. Sorry. <laughs> the CoverGirl Colorlicious in Juicy Fruit. It's number 640. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, but this is the color on it, and I think this is supposed to be one of their like new lip glosses. Um, let's see here. Let's swatch that for you guys. Um, okay. So that's what it looks like. It's a pretty like pinky color. I think you could probably build that up a little bit if you wanted to make it, let's see, darker. There you go. A little bit darker. It smells pretty good. It smells like sweet. It doesn't smell like juicy fruit, but it does smell sweet. And this is a full-size product, and I would guess that just just based on it being a lip girl, lip girl, guys, every time I get in front of this camera, a cover girl lip gloss, that it probably costs more than the box. So it probably costs at least $5, if not more. So um, that paid for the box. Alrighty, the next thing I see in here is a sample of the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion in Sheer Hydration. Okay, and I'm going to wipe that off my hand here. And I don't know, let's see, let's smell it. I don't smell anything. Oh, that's because it's sealed. That's good that it's sealed, but that's also why I can't smell anything. Okie dokie. Okay, I give up. I can't smell it, but I imagine it smells like a vino lotion. Um, so this is a sample of their daily moisturizing lotion. Okay. The next thing that I see in here is the deep moisture um, shower gel. Yeah. Um, from Dove. Um, let's see if I can smell this. Hey, look, I can smell it. Hmm. It smells like it's not fruity. It's um, well, it's kind of a cross between like fruity and clean. I don't, I don't know. It's kind of a, it's not my favorite smell at all times, but it doesn't smell bad. So, sample of that. All right, and now I see like some little like packet things in here in the bottom. All right, so the first one is from Flower, and cherished, radiant, and sultry. So I guess these are like little perfume fragrance. Perfume little like samples. Let's see. Here. Hmm, that smells nice. Okay, so radiant smells really nice. 
These might be worth trying. I don't know how expensive these are, but um, they smell good. Okay, I'm not going to bother. But anyway, some little like perfume scenty card thingies. And let's see here. I also see some L'Oreal Color Vibrancy Nourishing Shampoo. So I got some little like oil packets of these. A little inexpensive, but I've been kind of wanting to try this um, set. So it comes with a shampoo, a conditioner, and a, an oil of some kind. Same. Instant Shock Treatment Antioxidant and Linseed Oil. Yeah, so shampoo and conditioner and, and oil, okay? And the last thing in here is another like foil packet shampoo thing, if I can get it out. And that's this right here. And this is the John Frieda, apparently there's a coupon on the back here. This is the John Frieda shampoo and conditioner in the Luscious Volume Collection. Apparently this is one of their new ones. And then I also got a $2 off manufacturer's coupon as well. So I would say overall, I think this isn't like a terrific, like super duper, oh, I'm pumped about this box, but I think for $5, which is like super duper cheap, that includes shipping. So. Um, I think it's a nice little way to like try some new products. Um, so overall I'm pretty pleased with this box. I did see an unboxing. I don't know who I saw the unboxing from you guys. I'm terrible. I need to write this stuff down. Um, I did see an unboxing from somebody who did the Target one. And that one looked like it was really amazing. But that one was $10 and this one is 5 and that looked like a really amazing box, but you can't get that one anymore. I don't know if you can get this one anymore, but what I will do is I will check around, and if you can get it, I will link where you can get it if you guys want to get this box. Nothing too terribly exciting, but the box definitely paid for itself just with the lip gloss alone. So, um, overall, I would say pretty good box. I think it's worth, you know, the $5 just to try some kind of new stuff that's not, it's beauty related, but that's not um, makeup related because... I need more makeup like I need a hole in my head. Let's let's get honest. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this um, video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And again, uh, please let me know what kind of videos you guys are liking. I want to make videos that are good for you guys and helpful for you guys. So be sure to let me know that in the comment box below. And otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video and happy holidays to you all. Bye-bye.